What do you think the predominant yeah. case is when somebody does and it doesn't work for them? Where was oh, the breakdown, bunch. do you think? Oh, God, a whole bunch of reasons, man. I mean, um, they never, the d- database they hand over, nobody likes them. Um, Ooh. <laughs> That's a big one. Like they built it probably, a, they're kind of making up for a bad reputation in the marketplace. Um, so yeah, I mean, we've had people sign up and like everyone unsubscribes and reply back, never send anything. So they, you're taking some with a poor reputation and marketing them probably isn't a good idea. You got to fix the reputation first. Um, second one is, um, you know, it comes time to shoot the videos and they just can't get over how they look. Like, yes. I don't like how I look. So I don't want to do it. I see that so all I the think, time. I think how I look is a big issue. Um, three is they're so caught up in this productive mindset. They've never experienced, they've never expressed the creative side of their brain. And I think it's totally turned off. So basically you're so focused on calls, 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 prospecting, 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 appointments, appointments, appointments. And the actual work of like sitting back and actually the creative process of even coming up with a topic is so cerebrally demanding and so exhausting that they don't want to do it. Like the, 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 the using the creative side of the brain has never been exercised. So it's actually time, like you got to create some content with this. It's time for your interview. Like the, the cerebral work of that is just too much. So I see that from a human side that, that then you don't get the results, right? Um. One of the things is like, you know, we'll send these videos out and I'll say, hey, here's all the people that watch them. Here's all the people that engage with them. And you got to call them. And I think the other issue too is like, you know, hey, when you when you generate the leads and generate these opportunities, you do have to follow up. And I, I just think, um, you know, you might be looking at the marketing as kind of like this. Oh, like, I think it's going to cash the check for me. <laughs> right? I can't, I can't go that far. I mean, all marketing can do is just generate leads. Right. You still have to call. So I think people get excited, like, you know, I'm going to send this marketing out and someone's going to call me up saying, hey, here's a 7% contract I already signed for you. Sign it and you got the listing. It's not that easy. So I think it's kind of that realization that, you know, the best I can do for you is generate leads and you still have to call them and you still have to go on the appointments. I think it's interesting. Like, you know, you you, you buy marketing, but you're buying more work. Right? right? Think about I- it. Yeah, right. it's like you you buy marketing, but now I just purchased more work. Like, who wants to do that, right? Right. If you're already so busy. Think, yeah, or you're not busy, but now, gosh, now I have all these appointments to go on, all these listings to sell, and I really don't want to do it. So I think that's one of the issues. Oh, our team screws up. That happens all the time. Like, um, you know, we we use the we, maybe we put the wrong logo on there from our clients. God help us, or we put someone else's picture on your graphics. <laughs> That's happened. Uh, dude, I've been doing this for thousands of people for a decade. I mean, you know, um, we, for some reason, the headline, we put the wrong market, you know, so we screw up and we will screw up. So we just refund it because we screwed up and that's going to happen with any business. So that's another reason. Um, I don't know, man. I think um, just a general passion for the business. Like you're, I think a, a lot of people really hate selling real estate and they're doing it because they need the money. And I think if you hate selling real estate and you're doing it purely because you need the money, I don't think you're really going to enjoy any of the process of doing this. Wow. That's deep. Yeah. That's deep. Well, yeah. I mean, do you hate selling real estate and the only reason you're doing this is for the money? I think it's probably most people. I love it. I mean, think about it, it, man. I mean, do most people look forward to going to work? God, I can't wait to go to work today. And I'm really excited about this. Said like 95% of the population didn't say. (laughs) You know, a lot, a lot of people end up in real estate, man. It's not like you seek it out. It's like, hey, I got laid off. Hey, this life situation changed. I need more flexibility. I don't really want to do. So I'm going to get my real estate license. So I don't think that self-awareness was there of like, I'm purposely choosing this profession because I want to crush it. Is generally speaking, probably not the case. Would you say, Bill? Like, hey, I, I mean, turned I down this thought about it. I you turned, say that, I it makes... Down this hundred, yeah, I turned down this $100,000 with benefits offer from Microsoft because I want to go start my own business selling real estate to make more. No. I mean, you say it, it makes sense. I never thought about it. I mean, I've been around a long time, Frank. I've talked to yeah. thousands of agents. I've coached. I, you're right. I love yeah. it. I do love it. I, I you know, work out of my house now. So I literally walk downstairs, get the coffee. You know, my calendar starts at 8. I'm there at 7.45, yeah. ready to go. Can't wait to hit it. I got yeah. great stuff. We look forward to our jobs. We get to work. Love it. Right. I get to. Yeah, you I, get to work. You don't have, I have to, to I can't assume everybody else does. You're, you're yeah. so right. 